Hey everybody, it's Kevin from Kraken Futures. In this video, we're going to introduce the basic concepts of margin and leverage. It's a bit of a complicated subject, but it's incredibly important trading futures. As we go through this, I would strongly recommend two things. First, experiment with our demo accounts. There's a link below and it's all play money. There's even a button in there to add more money in case you make a bad trade. The, site will, the demo site will function exactly as the main site will. The only difference, and it's important to note, is that the order book on the demo site is not the same order book as on the real site. So it will be representative, but it's definitely not the same amount of liquidity or the same spread you'll see on the real website. But the demo account will allow you to have persistent logins that you can use to test strategies over days, weeks, and months. I really enjoy it and I use it a lot myself. Second, please ask questions. Our Telegram chat is always open. Um, the admins are always standing by to help and there's a lot of really helpful people in there that will be very happy to answer questions that you might have about trading. Also, you can always put questions into the discussion chat on this learning platform. So today, there's gonna to be two important subjects that we cover, margin and leverage. We're gonna start out by doing some conceptual examples and then we're gonna do some real world examples using the Kraken Futures interface. You hear people talk about leverage all the time in crypto. We even talk about it here. We always say Kraken Futures offers 50X leverage, but what does that actually mean? To understand leverage, you need to start with margin. At its simplest, margin is the amount of capital that you've decided to put at risk for trading. One of my favorite things about Kraken Futures is that you can never lose more money than you've decided to put at risk in your margin wallet. So let's start with a few conceptual examples and we'll build up to real world examples again. Let's say you put $10 into your Kraken Futures Futures wallet. This is your margin. It's the funds that you have designated as being available for trading. Now, let's say you want to go 10x long on Bitcoin. To find out how much you need to buy, you multiply your margin times the leverage. In this case, $10 in margin times 10x in leverage equals $100 notional position size. You would buy $100 worth of Bitcoin perpetual futures contracts. That value, the total size of your position, is referred to as the notional position size. So the equation to keep in mind that will always hold is margin times leverage equals notional size. Let's look at another example. Let's say you want to go $5 in, you put $5 into your futures wallet. You've now got $5 in margin and you want to go 3x long on Bitcoin. Your $5 in margin times 3x leverage equals a $15 notional position size. You'd buy $15 worth of Bitcoin futures. Again, the margin is five, the notional size is 15, and therefore your leverage is three. This works regardless of whether you're going long or short. For example, let's say you put $20 into your futures wallet. You have $20 in margin, and you wanna go 10X short on the price of Bitcoin. $20 in margin times 10X leverage equals a $200 notional position size. You would then sell $200 worth of Bitcoin futures. You now have $200 worth of short exposure to Bitcoin. But again, your margin is 20, your leverage is 10, and your notional size is $200. That relationship, margin times leverage equals notional size, always holds. Finally, it's important to point out that margin is individualized to the instrument that you're trading. For example, if you're trading the Ethereum contracts, only your Ethereum balance and margin is relevant and at risk. Your Bitcoin margin balance is not at risk. Of course, assuming you don't all also have Bitcoin positions open. So before we move on to the, the, uh, the real world examples, in conclusion, margin is the funds that you've designated as available for trading. Margin is always individualized to the asset that you're trading. The notional position size is your total position size and it can be long or short. And finally, margin times leverage always equals notional size. Now let's look at two real world examples of margin and leverage in the Kraken Futures interface. On Kraken Futures, there are two wallets to pay attention to. First is your holding wallet, and the second is your futures wallet. Funds in the holding wallet are not at risk. They cannot be lost through trading. Deposits to Kraken Futures automatically go into cold storage and are stored in your holding wallet. If you wish to trade, you must proactively transfer funds from holding wallet to your futures wallet. 
it's an internal entry. It happens instantly, but you have to make that movement yourself. Your futures wallet is your balance at risk. It is your margin. In this example, you have two Bitcoin in your holding wallet. Your trading activity will not affect this balance. You have one Bitcoin in your futures wallet. This is your funds available for trading. You can move funds back and forth between the holding and futures wallet at any time. You can even do it while you have a position open. So let's say you've deposited three Bitcoin to your Kraken futures account. You keep two Bitcoin in your holding wallet and transfer one Bitcoin to your futures wallet. You now have one Bitcoin, or in this case, $6,708 in available margin. If you want to go 3x long on Bitcoin, you would purchase 6,708 times 3 equals $20,124 worth of Bitcoin contracts. After you make that purchase, you now have $6,699 in margin and $20,124 in notional position size, and you're using 3x leverage. In this example, let's say you deposit 10 Ethereum and you move 5 Ethereum to your futures wallet. You have 5 Ethereum worth of margin that will be available for trading. The 5 Ethereum in your holding wallet will not be impacted by anything you do in trading on Kraken futures. Your 5 Ethereum in margin is worth $682, and let's say you want to go 10x short. You would then use Perpetual Futures to sell $6,824 worth of futures contracts. You're now 10x short. So your notional position size at the end is minus 6,824, your margin is 682, and your leverage is 10x. Thank you very much. We'll put some more examples in below, and we look forward to continuing with you. Thank you.